Hello and welcome back to Lesson 7 in this tutorial series on creating an iPhone app using a SQLite database. Uh, first, I want to apologize with my shameless plug here, but I encourage you all to check out my website, www.kbc-appstore.com, and you can see here where I recently released a new app called Proof of Expense, which um, has been voted in edit Editor's Picks uh, Best Top 10 Apps, and it's now available in the App Store. And the reason I'm showing you this is because a lot of what I'm going over in this class is being used in this app and many of the other apps I have written. For example, we're going to talk about adding data today, and one of the things we're going to talk about is an ad view controller, which you'll see in this screenshot here. So enough of the shameless plug. Let's get busy um, learning how to add data to the database using this iPhone app. So again, go um, look at Tutorial 2 if you haven't already, and uh, learn how to download this app from GitHub so that you can walk through this with us or you know watch this video and then go back through and look through the code and see if you can figure out what I'm doing here. So let's talk about adding data into a database. It's very simple using SQLite library. Although there are some tweaks we have to perform if we want the application to behave in a certain way. Um, but anyway, you know, we're picking up from where we left off last time where if you remember we were deleting data. So here I'm at the first view controller and I'm going to click on this contact button and it takes me to the root view controller which within the um, view will appear method it does a refresh of the uh, table and or, I'm sorry the database and then reloads that array of data from the database into this table view so as you remember I, as you saw earlier I just deleted two of the existing rows and down at the bottom we have here a tab bar with a button add contact which we're going to talk about now so let's talk a little bit about the workflow here um, if a user clicks on the add contact button on the you know left hand bar the add con add um, view control add contact view controller will be presented to them the user will enter date of birth which is a picker view um, as you can see I have it set to November 17th if we want to we can change it to the 16th and we have a segmented object it's a switch so we can switch from M for male F for female and so here we'll leave it as M and then the next uh, uh, object on this view is a text box which I'll put in my name It's the name of the contact and as you can see here um, it has some intelligence here some auto correction is turned on the properties for this text box. One of the things I should have done is since this is a name I should make every word a capital. Um, to do that it's real simple actually we can do that real quick. Let's see if I go to the um, view for add view controller. Click here. I'm not sure if this is going to show up or not but I click on the property for the text box. Come in here and capitalization is set to none. I can change it to words and then we're done. So the, the app is running right now so I'd have to stop and restart it. Well we can do that. Let's stop it. Restart it. Simulator will pop up here. Build succeeded. And go back in from the first view controller. Click on the contact button. Let's add another contact real quick. We'll make it uh, January 1st, 69, female, and uh, we'll call this one Ruth. And as you can, well, let me back up. I'm using my keyboard here, but if I use the, see how it defaults to cap? So Ruth, and save. There you go. So back there, so we've entered the date of birth, gender, contact name, and then we clicked on save on the navigation item on the right hand side. Internally what it did is it called a saved click method which will create an object contact a contact object and set all the right properties. We then call add contact method in the app delegate which will call the add contact method in the contact class and then it will add the object to the array. We then did dismiss the add view controller and reload the data on the table view and the view will appear in the root view controller method. So as you can see again, we when I 
came in here and clicked on save, it dismissed the view and brought it back to here. From here, it reloaded the, um, the array, the contact array, and then reloaded this table view. So let's go look at some of this. So first, let's look at the um, add contact method within the contact class. Here we have it. So um, from here you see there's a, an add statement. It's declared as a SQLite 3 statement variable. It is finalized in the finalized statements. And this is pretty much how the code looks. So coming back to the, you look at the add statement, it's built using the appropriate insert SQL code. And you know, we bind our um, variables as bind text. Um, we're using that for all the variables. You could also have bound them as double or integer. But in this case, we, for simplicity, we're binding them as text. And since um, once that's done, then we execute the statement using a SQLite step method. And if it returns SQLite done, then the row was successfully added to the database. We still do not have the primary key for the row, which was inserted, which we can get by calling the last, the SQLite 3 last insert row ID here method. And that's passed into the database object. So the row ID is the only returned on the column of type integer primary key. So again, if you remember back when we created the database, we defined the primary key as an auto increment. So it would have taken the next value and added one to it. Um, so let's let's go back and look at um, what's going on within the um, app delegate. So here at the app delegate, we had the add contact. So adding the data database, we've um, go and uh, we've added the contact object to the contact array we declared which was declared in this app delegate and then uh, we declare a method called add contact which will take the parameter of type contact here so back here in the add view controller we con we call the con add contact method in the app delegate passing it the contact object here and then go back to the app delegate. This is being called. And again, then it um, will take the parameter of contact in this method and it's called in the save click method, and which will then be called when the user clicked save button. So then from there, we uh, call the add contact method in the contact um, object, which we um, just created. And then uh, it adds the row to the array. So um, now that was a pretty much a crash course on how we add data um, to a database using this um, iPhone app and I hope this helped. I do appreciate you watching this and uh, thank you for your time. Uh, please go back, review the code, send me questions if you have any questions. I'll be glad to help you if I can and I hope to hear talk to you again in lesson eight. Thank you.